Rodgers is leading the way to take over at the King Power Stadium after Claude Puel was sacked following Saturday's 4-1 defeat by Crystal Palace. However, Hartson has backed the former Liverpool boss to turn down any offers and believes he would be making the right decision by doing so. I can see why they would want him and why he is still very attractive to clubs in England, but I am stubborn and I am going to hold true to what I genuinely believe here, I don't think Brendan Rodgers is going anywhere," the Welshman said. I'll stress that is an opinion and nothing more. I have not asked him. I have not spoken to him or anyone close to him. But what I will say is that in any dealings I have had with Brendan in recent years he has always stressed just how happy he is in his work at Glasgow. He loves the club. He is settled in a nice area just outside the city and he has always spoken of just how much he has enjoyed his life in Glasgow. I see the attraction of Leicester. They are very wealthy. They play in one of the top leagues in the world and there would be money to spend. But I would still argue that in terms of clubs, Leicester are nowhere near Celtic. And I say that with the greatest respect. And I know I have said it before, but for me it is vital for Brendan to leave a legacy at Celtic. Rodgers has won two Scottish Premiership titles at Celtic who have won the league in all of the last seven seasons. And Hartson has urged him to stay and continue to guide them through a period of sustained domination. He can be the man, not just to take them to 10 in a row but to 11, to 12, to 13, to 14. If the board go on and back him this summer then it could be anything," he added. There could be no let up to just how dominant Celtic are in a domestic sense. Rodgers has often been linked with jobs south of the border since being sacked by Liverpool in 2015. During almost three years on Merseyside, the Northern Irishman impressed with his attacking style and went agonizingly close to winning the Premier League title in 2014. His final season at Anfield ended with the Reds languishing in seventh in the table, but his reputation as one of the most progressive British coaches remains intact. And he might be holding out for a bigger job having recently linked with Chelsea should under pressure Italian Maurizio Sarri get the sack.